we got some brand new leaks for update 15 coming on saturday and some of these will definitely change the way you might be investing from new exclusive eggs to new enchants as well as new clan battles and just features overall for clans in general we have so much to unpack for this video you will most definitely want to know these things so you can be prepared and know how to invest in the coming day so in this video i will be going over all of those leaks that we currently have right now as well as some potential investments to take advantage of this information a lot of prices in the market actually depend on what kind of leaks we get like these so it is really important that you stay up to date on this type of information and if you want to do so you can do that over on my discord link will be down in the description below i also do daily giveaways on there so i don't see why you're not in there already and then on top of all of this we also have that brand new clan battle that is starting on saturday and as you guys probably know that is one one of the biggest contributors onto why we either have inflation or deflation in the economy so we'll also do a little bit of talking on that but no more delay let's get right into this video all right you guys so first up here we have the leaks that we actually got from big games themselves now we only got one leak so far but we can probably expect a brand new tweet coming from big games tomorrow or some new information regarding the update because since this weekly update thing that we've been having Big Games has been tweeting out pretty much like two leaks before every update. So we can expect some new information coming tomorrow. But so far, what we got is this picture from Big Games, which basically reveals that we're getting a brand new hacker themed world for this update. Now, as many of you guys know, this is pretty crazy because we've only had the Summer World update for only a week now. So it seems like they are moving extremely quickly through these new worlds. So I'm not really sure what actually made them decide that the Summer World should only be the main update for like a week. Because usually they do like one themed world and then have a whole nother week that's like an addition to that world. Because of this leak that we got from Big Games themselves, as well as some other leaks later on, it definitely looks like they are kind of just abandoning the Summer World and it's not going to be the main focus of this week's update. Which definitely comes as a surprise to most people because we definitely thought there was going to be some sort of like little addition to the summer world kind of how the prison world did where we got access to the police hq for week two so this week we are not doing that this week we are getting a whole brand new world so we're gonna have to wait and see how well big games can keep up with just releasing a brand new world every single update and i should probably clarify when i say it's a new world it's not like a whole new world we're still in world three but it's a new mini world so we're doing these like weekly mini worlds with like five new areas which honestly i like a lot better as you guys know right before we got the weekly update schedule i put a video out saying that big games should just stop releasing these three week updates with 25 levels because nobody even looks at half the levels because they just speed run right through most of them so honestly i think this is overall a good change and we've been getting a ton more content than we ever would have with the three week schedule but anyways back to this hacker world image that we got from big games we could see in this image we got a brand new little hacker enchant your guess is actually as good as mine when it comes to this enchant we have absolutely no idea what this is going to do at this point with new in chance it seems like it's going to be very hard for big games to come up with some original ideas for what these enchants can do because we already have so many enchants that do different things if i could take an educated guess i'd probably say it has something to do with damage just because that is like the easiest thing to make a new enchant of so i'd imagine it's something that allows us to do more damage to an area and especially with some of the updates that we've been getting and an additional update that you guys are about to see in a second we might need some additional damage enchants. So I can only imagine it's probably a damage enchant, but obviously I have nothing to go off of. That is just my gut feeling. Besides that, in this picture, we just have a new hacked hoverboard as well as a new key. So it looks like we will get some sort of little hacker chest that you can open sort of like the void chest, the tech chest, the crystal chest those chests like that now since i already kind of mentioned the boss chest we also got some new leaks of a water chest as well as something called a wireframe chest 
So I'm not sure which one of these is legit or not, but it definitely seems like we are getting some sort of boss chest be put into the game for this update. Now, our last clan battle had to do with prison keys, and uh, the best way to get those prison keys was actually destroying the police chest in the police headquarters. So for that reason, a lot of people are speculating that this new boss chest is actually going to be a meta for the clan battle once again. And for that reason, a ton of people have been going out and buying more of these nightmare orbs as well as this corruption enchant. In just the last eight hours, this thing has pretty much doubled in wrap and the corruption enchant has gone up like 30 million. So a lot of people are definitely speculating that this new boss chest is going to have something to do with the clan battle and is going to be something that we can grind consistently. Now, while this definitely can be the case, it's definitely possible. I don't necessarily see this and I want to go out of your way to risk a bunch of diamonds investing in these enchants. That police headquarters update that we got with the police chest was pretty specific and that chest was extremely hard to break which we haven't got before. So that's why those nightmare orbs as well as the corruption enchant really came in handy there. But for example, like the boss battle that we have currently, the jungle boss, using those nightmare orbs isn't very helpful at all. So with this new update and the brand new boss chest that we might get, it might not even be the case that these nightmare orbs are very effective. So I just want to go out of your way and spend your last diamonds just investing in it because it is a very risky bet. We don't even know for sure if this boss chest is coming to the update or not. The one leak that I keep seeing for the water boss chest just doesn't even make sense with the hacker world themed. That would make more sense with this update that we got in the past week with the obby world. Because as you know, the obby world is like the summer world. So it's got that beach theme. So I would have thought we would see that water boss chest be put in that world. But with that leak from big games, it definitely seems like they're going with a hacker theme. So I can't see a reason why they would add a water boss chest invest your diamonds with caution when it comes to this but moving on we actually got this leak from the developer david from big games who basically just shared this picture that shows that it looks like we're getting a clan chat for this update now this is really cool this is definitely an addition we need so basically we're going to have like a little group chat in game somewhere in the clan section where we can type to our clan members. So I think this is a very good addition. Uh, nothing too much to really talk about with that. Definitely a good quality of life change for the game. And then after that, we also got a whole ton of leaks about brand new huges that are coming to the game. Now I'll share this poll that big games put out on their discord that allowed the community to pick whatever the new huge was going to be. Now, I'm not someone who gets too excited about what pets look like or anything, but we did get a ton of huges, even more than the ones that are shown in this picture. So there is a lot of speculation in the community about what this means, because this is like a lot more huges than we usually get for a leak especially in just one update. So some rumors that I have heard is that people think that we're going to have some sort of new like active huge pool for this new world. Now that sounds really crazy to me. I don't necessarily believe it, but with the amount of huges that they're adding in the game, I'm definitely interested to see what big games has planned for this. And while I'm talking about this, actually, if you guys actually want to see some of these leaks for yourself, you could join my discord link will be down in the description below for that. We have a channel dedicated for new leaks that we get to the game so that you can be as well informed as possible, even before these leak videos even come out. And then finally, we have this leak for a brand new exclusive egg coming to the game, which actually does align with big game schedule of adding a brand new exclusive egg every two weeks. They've done this ever since the black hole egg came out. I'll have a chart on the screen here where you can see how long each of the past eggs have been in the shop for. I'm guessing that recently they figured out they can make more money if they just keep releasing new exclusive eggs every two weeks. So it seems like that is what they're doing. And honestly, I have no problem with it. I like any new excuse for new content. It's not like I buy any of the exclusive eggs anyways. Honestly, though, every time they add new exclusive eggs into the game, we have an amazing opportunity to make to basically just make free profit. So honestly, I have absolutely no problem with it, which brings me to the major investment 
for this video. Honestly, I should have put this in my video of investments that you can pretty much make every update. This investment is definitely on that scale of consistency because I'll have a picture up of the Bejeweled Egg which recently came out of the shop two weeks ago. Now, when exclusive eggs are still in the exclusive shop, the price of them is constantly being brought down because people just keep buying them and just putting them up at their booths. So the price action is always going down for whatever the active exclusive egg is. For that reason is why it is a perfect time to be investing in this stargazing egg. As you can see, it is 32.8 million diamonds right now. I'm willing to bet in about a week's time, this will be sitting at around 40 million diamonds, especially if we do get a huge inflation period soon, which potentially could happen depending on what the clan battle is on Saturday. But pretty much what the cycle of these exclusive eggs looks like is that these exclusive eggs that are in the exclusive shop tend to stay at a very steady price for a while while they're in the exclusive shop. And then once they leave the exclusive shop, they rise to basically whatever the average price is of the last two exclusive eggs that came out. So for example, if we compare this to the Bejeweled Egg, which is now sitting at 40 million, and then the Sketch Egg, which is also sitting uh, somehow below 40 million but honestly this might be manipulated because i'm pretty sure this price was just at 42 million earlier today nonetheless i think you guys understand the pattern here so basically it takes a week from when this is removed from the exclusive shop to basically rise to that intrinsic value that these exclusive eggs sit at as you can see if we look at other exclusive eggs that came out recently like the superhero egg this one's sitting at 44 million the jelly egg is all the way at 53 million I think you guys get the picture. I think pretty much investing in these eggs anywhere under 35 million. If you wait a week, you are going to make a decent little size profit. It is also really easy to flip these eggs as well. So honestly, this is a very good investment, especially if you can find this for wrap right now. I would honestly just try to find it as close to wrap as possible. But I think in a week's time, you will find that you made profit pretty much at whatever price you buy it at under 35 million. Now I have bought some for myself, but I've also been giving away a lot of these on my discord. So I've also just been buying them up for that. I wanted to yap a little bit longer about inflation and deflation, but I don't really want to spread this video out too long. So maybe depending on the activities and the leaks we get tomorrow, I'll talk more about that. But pretty much all you guys got to know is that whatever this clan pedal is, is basically what the market's depending on. We are seeing slight inflation right now, but the inflation really will take off if this clan battle turns out to be something that gets people grinding and not spending their diamonds. But if it is some sort of pay to win clan battle, we probably will see deflation happen once again. So we're just going to have to wait and see about all that. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about all of these leaks that we've gotten. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video and peace out.